All right, let's check in now on your forecast as the work week is very soon. I know we're all maybe getting that feeling of, wait, tomorrow's Monday after what an amazing Sunday night. <sighs> to cheer on the Kraken, but the forecast is going to play around with us. It's yeah, you know what? And this is the kind of forecast that every day really is going to bring something new. Every yeah. couple of days, we'll see some changes. So you really want to keep a close eye as we head into this upcoming week. I'll, I'll break it all down for you in just a moment. But first, let's take a moment to enjoy these beautiful uh, skies that we saw this evening. A friend of mine, Jose Marino, sent me this photo. These are my favorite. These are crep crepuscular rays. Uh, they're just absolutely beautiful. So what a nice way to see uh, the evening evening end with those shining through the clouds. Currently, Seattle is sitting at 55 degrees, so a little bit cooler today. Did you feel the difference? Probably because on average we were trending 15 to 20 degrees down from yesterday. We saw those warm conditions and then we plummeted down. SeaTac only hitting 61 degrees today. Remember, we hit 80 just two days ago. But also remember, normal for this time of year is 63 degrees. So yeah, it's cooler, but technically it's normal. This is right on track with average. Same thing with those overnight lows. Waking up in the mid to upper 40s is typical. Now that April is coming to an end, we can take a look at uh, rain. So heading into April, we were in a pretty good deficit uh, for the calendar year rain totals. Coming out of April, we saw just shy of four inches of rain. That's more than the normal of three. 0.18 inches, so it helps a little bit with that deficit, but still for the calendar year, we haven't even hit 12 inches of rain. Usually we're nearing 17 inches, so we are down about five inches of rain compared to where we usually are this time of year. We have some sprinkle chances, but really not looking at anything measurable for the next week. It's just going to be spotty showers here and there. Satellite and radar showing those light sprinkles popping up right now, mainly over the coast and into the foothills, thanks to this low that is spinning off the coast that's going to head south and it's going to keep sprinkle potential in the forecast into tomorrow morning and then tomorrow afternoon. Most of that staying east of the Cascades, but we could see a couple sprinkles west of the Cascades and then we're going to see clearing into Tuesday. It's going to bring really nice conditions. So tomorrow will be another cool day up to the north. We're in the 50s and low 60s around Central Sound hovering right around that 60 degree mark down in South Sound low 60s in store for us for tomorrow and then over along the coast a little bit cooler 50s and 60s are in store for us. Cloud coverage will stick around through most of the day tomorrow, but then we will see sunshine come back Tuesday and Wednesday with temperatures warming back to the 70s, but then we will cool down once again as we head into the weekend. So we'll cool down, warm back up and then cool down once again.